Welcome everyone, I am Elder Geneva. Many people call me Mama G. I represent Lift Him Up Ministries and I'm always here to give words of encouragement. You can find me on Facebook Live every Saturday at 10 a.m. Please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. I am Elder Geneva. Some people call me Mama G. I represent Lift Him Up Ministries, and I'm always here to give words of encouragement. Join me every Saturday at 10 a.m. Amen. I thank the Lord for those that are joining me. And again, I'd like for you to please, please like, share, and subscribe. I will be here every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Good morning, Lydia. Thank you for joining me. Amen. So, I will start out with a word of prayer this morning. So, join me in this word of prayer. Father, I thank you for this day, for this is the day that you have made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. I thank you, Lord, for those that will hear this word that you have sent. And I thank you for those that will receive it in Jesus' name. I pray that you would touch hearts today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let the one who hears this and know someone that needs to hear this, that they will tell them about it. That they do not have to be ashamed of the state or the situation that they're in. And so I thank you, Lord God, for those that will be reached on today and those that will see the replay in Jesus' name. We give you praise and glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, have anyone ever heard of uh, this book? I know it's a popular book. Teamwork Make the Dream Work. Teamwork Makes the Dream Work. And this book is, uh, you know, it talks about working in teams and only uh, will your dreams be fulfilled. And, and teams come in every size and shape. It doesn't have to be a, a team of 100 or a team of uh, 5,000, but teams come in all, every, all shapes and sizes. It could be two people. Thank you, uh, Barbara, for joining me. And again, I asked the question, did anyone... Have anyone heard of the book, Teamwork Makes the Dream Work? So that's what uh, I remember well, back in oh, a long time ago. <laughs> that it was uh, some type of uh, detergent that uh, my uh, mother used to use. She, she would do um, washing and ironing for, for people, you know, those other people. And... Uh, she would use uh, this detergent called 20 Mule Team Borax. And it was, uh, I guess it was a powerful uh, detergent. You know, it kept, cut out germs. And so just the, just the, the, the thought of 20 Mule, 20 Mule Team, so you know that was powerful. So that um, let you know that teams are powerful when you work together. And so that's what I want to talk about today. Hallelujah. Teamwork. Teamwork. Okay? And, and being accountable to someone. Hallelujah. And so um, I'm going to read Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 through 12. And it says, If anyone falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Amen. Father, thank you for the reading and the hearing of his word. And so uh, I'm going to talk about teamwork. Again, I said I'm, I'll be talking about teamwork, how it is that you need someone to help you, that you need someone to be uh, uh, accountable to. And I remember, uh, in, in, in again, Ecclesiastes 4 and 9 is about spiritual fruit. Teamwork is critical in overcoming any type of substance abuse. 
I remember when I, uh, years ago when uh, I was, uh, you know, in this, it, into this um, alcoholism, substance abuse, and I, uh, I, I wanted to stop, and I was, you know, trying to stop, but I remember my cousin, she's going home to be with the Lord now, and uh, my uh, Gwen, Gwen Summer, she's, she's still here. They came by my house and, and picked me up. And and uh, we went. They took me to this church. I never will forget this church. <clears throat> it's called. Um, it was called Grace Refuge Chapter. Sister Vita Hill was the pastor, and they uh, they could they were attending that church. So they took me over there. She ministered to me. Sister Hill did again. She's gone home with the Lord, and so. But that that helped me when I was in bondage. So what I'm saying is, if I was just sitting home alone, you know, you, you need someone, you know, with that uh, situation that I was going through. So you need someone. So they came and helped me. Thank you, Sister Meeks, for joining us. And so um, I just want you to know, for those that may be in bondage, this is for those that may be in bondage. The ones that are on here now, they may not, they're not in that bondage, but they know someone, you know someone that needs to hear this. Thank you, uh, Prophet Claudia, for joining me. You know someone that needs to hear this, and so I would like for you to tell them about this program every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. So I'm going to read a quote from Matthew Henry. He was the, uh, he wrote the commentary, he wrote a commentary of the Old and New Testament. He says, uh, two are better than one and happier jointly than either of them could be separately. More pleased is in one another than they could be in themselves only. Mutually serviceable to each other's welfare and by a united strength, more likely to do good to others. This is uh, Matthew Henry. He was, um, he was born in the 1800s, but he wrote the, the commentary of the Old and the New Testament. Uh, testament and so that was one of his quotes and then again um have you ever read pilgrim's progress that's a book it's a wonderful allegory of the christian life so in the ninth scene a man by the name of hope finds himself desiring to take a nap in the land of enchantment so you we know what enchantment is it's a, a great pleasure and delight and that's what we are in when we are under the power of whatever substance that you're abusing. Amen. But Kristen reminds him of one of uh, First Thessalonians 5 and 6. And it says, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Hope, being reminded of the truth of Scripture, he became very thankful to Christian, for Christian. He was thankful for him. And so that that is another uh, situation where, you know, we need each other. We need someone. And he says these words, I acknowledge that I was wrong, and if I would have been here alone by myself sleeping, I would have been in danger of death. I see it is true with that wise man said, two are better than one. Therefore, you being here have been a mercy to me, and you will have a good reward for your labor. I tell you another testimony. This has been years ago when I was in the bondage of alcohol. I was working. We worked afternoon, and we would slip and drink me and some more of the people, you know, in, 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 on the job. But we had went out to, uh, it was a liquor store up on the uh, hill from the p place where we worked at. And we went out that evening, and uh, we were drinking. And so when it was time to go back to work, everybody had went in the building. I passed out on the steps going into back into the, to work. I passed out. Everything went black. It just so happened that my girlfriend, Janice Knight, She's gone home to be with the Lord now. Been almost a year. She was, she had came behind us, and she found me out there on the steps, passed out, and she uh, called my family, my son, uh, 
came and got me. So I'm saying that to say two is better than one because if she hadn't came along, she was late from her break. Uh, I might have laid out there on the step a long time. Or I don't know what would have happened. But two is better than one. I don't know how many people that have, may listen to me that have had blackouts. You know. But that's that's dangerous. And so, again, teamwork make the dream work. So, my friend, whoever that need to hear this word... You need someone to be accountable to. Uh, by the love of the scriptures and care for your soul that they will be able to take when you're, when you're about to go back to the land of enchantment, when you're about to go back to sleep in the land. And we said the land of enchantment is a, you feel pleasure. That's uh, enchantment, which it can be alcohol, it can be drugs, it could be prescription drugs, it could be marijuana, whatever that um, that has you in bondage in the land of enchantment. You know, that's we that let we us know that we need someone, someone to help us, help us to wake us up. That's why we need accountability partners. Because you may have a friend, you know, that one that, that is even right now that has a hangover from last night. But you may need a friend or someone, you need someone you can call on and talk to. Say, man or lady or girl, I got drunk last night. I passed out. I don't remember what happened last night. I don't remember getting home. All I remember is waking up. But I need you to help me. You, I need you to pray for me. And to help me to, to overcome this addiction. Because, again, if one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Again, that's uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 4 and 10. Uh, can, can you recall a time when you were falling into drunkenness and then had no strength to get up? What were the results? What happened? What did you do when you had no strength to get up? When you don't want to get up because you were depressed because you don't know what you said last night or who you may have uh, offended. You have no strength to get up. What happened? What did you do? Like you, you wonder, what did I do last night? What did I say last night? So we need someone to be accountable to. We all need someone. Whatever the situation is, it doesn't have to be alcoholism or drug addiction or what drug addiction or whatever. It could be something else that you're going through. It could be uh, 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 emotional abuse, dom domestic violence, uh, uh, grief, or uh, whatever you may be going through. Thank you for joining me, Teresa, my niece. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, so whatever you may be going through, you you need someone to be accountable to. Because if we are serious about overcoming whatever situation that it is that we need to overcome, we need to have someone to help us. We need someone. Hallelujah. Now, church is important. Very important. Thank you, Stephanie, for joining me. Because you need that covering. And if you do not have a, a, a church home, if you're in this area, we have um, um, uh, my church is True Gospel Tabernacle Church, 20103, Ryan Road, Pastor uh, Dallas, Roger Dallas is our pastor. If you need a covering, but those that are not in this area, you look for someone, look uh, for a church home that teach the Bible, Okay. But you need that help. You need, if you're trying to overcome, trying to come out of this, this bondage, you need, you may need, uh, you may need treatment. Amen. So then if you, you need an accountability partner, because sometimes your spouse can be your accountability partner. You may, your spouse may not have the problem that you have. So they can be, a, you can be accountable to them. 
um, say, well, I need you to help me because uh, I'm going through. I really need you to help me. And so that spouse can be your accountability partner. Or maybe you can join a, a group, a group for whatever they have, group for everything, group for grief, group for, uh, 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 again, again, if you uh, uh, need a, to be in a group, for, a grief group. Uh, I have, I'm in a group, uh, Pastor uh, Carol Davis. It's called uh, Grief uh, Through Prayer. And she's on on Monday mornings at 7 a.m. and Tuesday, uh, Friday at uh, 7 a.m. And so you can contact her uh, right into Inspire. That's the name of the group. And, it, and she has a group, uh, <clears throat> a grief group within that group. Okay, and so whatever you're going through, hallelujah, you 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 need someone to help you. Thank you, Daryl, for joining me. You need someone to help you. Can't do it alone, hallelujah. Whatever you know, a lot of people have lost two and three loved ones, hallelujah. I know uh, Brother Daryl has lost three right behind each other, and so you know we 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 cover, we pray for everything, not only. Uh, uh, substance abusers, but grief, uh, those that are going through grief, those that, that are being, uh, have uh, lost, a, um, you know, their, their marriage, you know, divorce or whatever, separation. So we all, especially even when you, when you have separated from your wife or your husband, that's, that's grief. You know, that's, that's a death. It's not a, a, a it's not a physical death, but it's a death, a death to that marriage, a death to that relationship. So we all need someone. We all need someone to help us. We cannot do it alone. We cannot overcome alone. That's why the Lord has sent me to tell others about what he did for me and how you can overcome. He gave me the word, lift him up ministry, St. John chapter 12, verse 32. He said, but I, when I am lifted up from the earth, would draw all men unto myself. And so I come to lift up the name of Jesus, telling you what he can do. I know he's on the throne with the Father. The Holy Spirit is here in the earth with us. And so we pray to the Father, hallelujah, hallelujah, for he has someone here to help us, the Holy Spirit. Working, two working together can produce spiritual fruit, and he can provide uh, protection. Because like I said, if you supposed to one, uh, like like I said when I uh, passed out that time, God for provided spiritual protection for me by my girlfriend coming and helping me. Remember that teamwork makes the dream work. Teamwork makes the dream work. Doesn't have to be a five hundred. Doesn't have to be ten. It can be two, three. Because remember, a three-strand cord, cord is not easily broken. So you need someone to be accountable to. Uh, you will not win the battle against alcohol, against drug addiction, against whatever it is that you may be going through. Whatever it is, you need someone, hallelujah, to be accountable to. Someone that you can trust. Someone that's not going to spread your business, talk about what you talked to, to them about. That's what you need. It's good, hallelujah, to be done with any kind of a addiction or whatever you are, any type of bondage, whatever you are struggling with. Hallelujah. It's, you need someone to help you. Hallelujah. Because we are in a battle. We are in a battle. I'm telling you. We can either be overpowered. Uh, we can defend ourselves depending on our willingness to confide in one, in someone. Like I said, you need to pick out the one that, you know, someone that you trust that's not going to spread your, your business or whatever you talked about. Now, here's another quote from Matthew Henry, the great man of God back, born back in the 1800s who wrote the commentary of the whole Old and New Testament meant. He talks about united strength. He said, if an enemy find a man alone, he is likely to prevail against him. With his own single strength, he cannot win. 
But if he has a second or someone there with him, he may do well enough, you know, to overcome, to not be overpowered. Hallelujah. So this, this, and here's another scripture that reinforces the truth. Second uh, Samuel uh, 10 and 9 through 12. Uh, it talks about, let me read that. Second Samuel chapter 10, verses 9 through 12. Second Samuel chapter 10, verses 9 through 12. Second Samuel chapter 10, verses 9 through 12. I keep repeating it because that ain't my. Second Samuel chapter 10, verses 9 through 12. Okay, 2 Samuel chapter 10, verses 9 through 12, and it says, Joab saw that there were battle lines in front of him and behind him, so he selected some of the best troops in Israel and deployed them against the Armenians. He put the rest of the men under the command of Abisha, his brother, and deployed them against the Ammonites. Joab said, if the Ar Armenians are too strong for me, then you are to come to my rescue. But if the Ammonites are too strong for you, then I will come to rescue you. Be strong and let us fight bravely for our people and the cities of our God. The Lord will do what is good in his sight. Amen. So the end results of, of this battle was victory for the Israelites. Joab, in essence, he said, you help me with my enemies and I help you with yours. So whatever your enemy is, it could be you're addicted to, to nicotine. Whatever your enemy is, hallelujah, you need an accountability partner. And so together they were victorious, whereas separately they would have been overpowered. Now this is an important aspect of accountability, relationship. We should provide one another with spiritual protection from you know, from our mutual enemy because we all have an enemy and we know who our enemy is, the devil. So we have to fight for each other. Hallelujah. And the way to do this is to pray for each other. Pray for each other. Pray even for those that you may not even know because like, like I say, I pray for all people that are bound by alcohol, by drugs. Hallelujah. By whatever, by grief, hallelujah. I pray for those who have, have lost loved ones, hallelujah, hallelujah. Especially, especially those uh, mothers who have lost uh, children. That, that one, that, that's, that's, that one is, so I, I pray, I pray, hallelujah. So let us help each other to amputate. Remember I talked about last couple, last week, couple of weeks ago, radical amputation. And, uh, that, that does not mean you just go in and cut your arm or your hand or your finger off, but it's radical amputation of whatever it is that has you bound. You say, well, I'm going to stop it right now, right now. But you may not win the battle when you stop right then because the enemy is always going to come back to try to uh, uh, give a temptation, try to tempt you. But did remember this scripture, chapter of uh, First Corinthians, chapter ten, verses twelve through thirteen? It said, "There is no temptation as such, but that that is common to man. But God, who is faithful with the temptation, He'll make a way for you to escape." Hallelujah! So we have to uh, amputate, radically amputate all that stuff that that has us bound. This is a winnable war, but it takes two. It takes more, it takes someone to help us. There is strength in numbers, and we need each other. I'm going to look at Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews 10 verses uh, 23 and 25. It say, let us hold unservingly to the hope we profess. For he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another and all the more as you will see the day approaching. And like I said, we need, we need the church too. We need um, 
strong support, you know. Hallelujah. And then again, I want to read Proverbs 27 and 17. It says, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. So we all need someone. We need help. We cannot do it alone. Hallelujah. And so I pray that this message has helped and enlightened someone. And even those that may not have this uh, problem, but they know you know someone that does. And so I would like for you to tell them to come on and join us every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Where I will have an encouraging word from the Lord. Hallelujah. To show you, hallelujah, how you can overcome your struggles. How you can overcome your addiction. Not saying everything going to be roses all the time. But we, are have, we know someone that can help us. We know the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so uh, I want everyone to know, those that know and don't know, God loves you. And he has a wonderful plan for your life. But if those that do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, I would ask now that you would bow your head and ask of the Lord Jesus to come into your heart. Say, Lord, I believe that you sent your son to die for me on the cross. And I ask you to come into my heart and save me. And I receive it now in Jesus' name. And if you did, you are just as saved as I am. Romans 10 and 10, 9 and 10 says that if thou would confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's all it takes is you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. So tell someone, tell a friend, subscribe, share about this message that the Lord has sent me to tell you. Amen. So I thank God for those that have joined me on today. And those that may be having a problem. Those that do, those that know the Lord Jesus Christ and, and are still struggling with something. I pray that the Lord God, hallelujah, would just touch you today in Jesus' name. Touch you and give you hope. There is hope in Christ. In the name of Jesus. And so we thank and we praise God for he is good and his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Again, I am Elder Geneva. A lot of people call me Mama G. And again, I represent Lift Him Up Ministries. I'm always here to give a word of encouragement. And again, you can find me on Facebook Live every Saturday at 10 a.m. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, uh, Teresa, my niece from Georgia. Thank you, Barbara, my spiritual daughter. Thank you, Stephanie, my, my sister-in-law, my sister-in-love, and uh, my uh, sister Meeks and uh, the Claudette, all the people that have joined me on today. Also, I want to tell you about, I am one of the uh, co-authors of this book. It's called Moving On by his grace moving on by his grace and my chapter is called transformed by grace but this book is a testimony of women who have come through life's trials with resilience determination and hope for a better future fortunately it took a changed mind and a decision to transform their situations they write these stories to give hope and encouragement to those that will read how they moved on by God's grace and strength into their future. Now they are the experts to help someone that needs a push to be all they were created to be. These stories should be read with the thought that you too can move on to a new and better life with God's grace and with God's help and his grace. And uh, this book, uh, we have a, a website called www.and the anthology uh, moving on by his grace anthology.com but if you would like this book you can contact me and this book is uh, you can inbox me the, these are the latest pictures all the latest that uh, wrote in this book and this is uh, Linda um, Prophet Linda Hunt she is the uh, visionary and so I pray that you all would um, you know join me and 
read some of the stories that these women have written and what I wrote. And so I thank you. I thank you all that have joined me. I thank you for those that have supported me. Again, Sister Meek, Sister Barbara, Sister Teresa, uh, Perry, uh, Stephanie, everyone that joined me on today. I thank you. And join me again next week. Thank you. Amen. In Jesus' name.